It's great to be here. I'm very pleased to see this terrific turnout to celebrate mechanical engineering's achievements. I've always been very proud to be part of this great university, and I feel privileged to be here to introduce the UCL Antikythera research team, which is based at the Department of Mechanical Engineering. The Antikythera mechanism was discovered by Greek sponge divers in 1901, and at first it was considered to be nothing remarkable at all, but it has emerged as an extraordinary ancient Greek astronomical calculating machine of great sophistication. These are X-ray CT slices through the main surviving fragment, and you can see the remarkable complexity of the device. The UCL Antikythera research team came together to tackle the unsolved mysteries of the device. David Higgin uh, is one of our PhD students. He's a horologist, very skilled horologist. I inspired the project. I was a mathematician formerly and have spent 20 years researching this device. Adam Wojcik is... Uh, material scientist with a very long interest in ancient technology and the classics. Mirto Gyoga Kapulu is a very distinguished archaeometallurgist uh, with a particular interest in the history of ancient metals. Lindsay MacDonald is an imaging specialist, particularly with its uh, applications to cultural heritage. And finally, our second PhD student, Aris Dacanales, who has a long-term commitment to ancient astronomy and technology. Last year, the team came together and we published a radical new paper in Nature's Scientific Reports. It's had a huge number of views, more than a quarter of a million views so far, and worldwide it's one of the most uh, viewed paper for, for those of similar date. We simply could not have done this paper without our PhD students and their great contributions. This is a, an animation made for a, an exhibition in Frankfurt that's opening next year, a sneak preview of this animation. The, the Antikythera now is, is divided into 82 separate fragments. Uh, it's a fiendish 3D jigsaw puzzle. Um, and a lot of progress has been made over the last 120 years. Um, and this has led to a solution of the back of the mechanism with an extraordinary set of gears that calculates the variable motion of the moon and these two large dial systems at the back. So the back is essentially solved. The problem for the UCL team uh, was to try and solve the front of the mechanism where the evidence is much less um, abundant. These are our proposals uh, for the initial gearing for the mean sun, the nodes of the moon, and for Mercury uh, and for Venus. A 63-tooth gear is part of the gearing for Venus and calculates a remarkable 462-year cycle for the planet that was recently discovered in the inscriptions on the Antikythera mechanism itself. Everything slots together in this intricate way, layered way. Our emphasis now is to... Um, face the engineering challenges of how they made this device. Um, and it's a real challenge for our PhD students. How did they make the gears, which have teeth a little over a millimeter long? How did they make the plates? And in particular, how did they make these concentric system of tubes for the outputs, eight concentric tubes? Um, how did they make that with ancient Greek technology? These are fascinating questions, and we don't know the answers yet. These are our proposals for the gearing for 
Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn with their variable motions, and also for the so-called true Sun with its variable motion. What tools, techniques, materials did they use to make this device? The Antikythera mechanism represents the first time in history where the outcomes of scientific theories have been mechanized. It's a remarkable landmark in the history of technology. It's part of a revolution in ancient Greece, uh, sometimes called the Forgotten Revolution. Our model of the front of the mechanism culminates in a beautiful display of the ancient Greek cosmos with the sun, moon, and all five planets known in ancient times. Our question now is, how on earth did they make this device in ancient Greece? Thank you very much for your attention. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.